Hello, it's Sarah. Let me turn off the... My, my iron is on. I've got everything ready to solder. So I am chewing gum, by the way. I don't know. I have to spit it out because I do tend to pop it and crack it. I have my panel. Let me take it out. Is all um, in the previous videos. If you don't know what I'm doing, go back a couple of videos. I go through the process and this part is going to be soldering. So I've put copper foil on all my pieces of stained glass and then these little things are what I was trying to describe to get it all to stay where you want it and then once I ta I'm going to tack it in and I can take that away um, but you need flux and I like to use gel flux this is from I think I got it at Hobby Lobby but I'm not positive um, so I have that in this little mason jar with a brush um, I think I'm using, yep, 6040 solder, and I'm pretty sure I got this at Hobby Lobby. Yep, Hobby Lobby, $16.99. Um, I have a soldering iron. I don't remember where I got this. I might have ordered this on Amazon, and I just tinned it with, uh, I have, um, what is this called again? A sacramoniac, a sacramoniac block, something like that. And it's, it was recommended to me when I took a class. Um, so that's what I use to kind of tin my uh, iron. I have a, uh, what is this called? A filter, a smoke absorber. I'll bring it in the shot. It has a filter inside of it. I definitely got that on Amazon. And I also have a little separate control thing that I use to, I have this set at about a six and a half right now that I can set my soldering iron so you plug your iron into that the separate control and then you plug your control into your socket I also have a little a wet sponge that I'm going to use as well so let's get started the first thing you have to do is add flux to the piece anywhere you want to put solder so I am going to just tack it together where all the glass touches each other at the joints type thing in the in the cracks in the where should I say so this is I mean I could just be spreading this but let's just do a couple pieces because I'm not actually going to bring the solder all the way up to the edges because I'm going to add um, came which it's like oops alright so we're just going to tack And the solder will not stick to the copper foil if it is not fluxed. So whatever flux is, it is a conductor of I don't know what. Um, I don't know the science. And if so, like I, if I tap this and it doesn't stick, that means I didn't put flux there. And hopefully... Um, What was I going to say? So I can fix all the kind of thick areas and I have a little um, soldering, solder gun holder thing. Alright, so I'm going to just go around and really flux the heck out of this because I will forget. And, you know, some of my pieces aren't as snug as I'd hoped. So this one's moving around a little bit. But that's okay. I'll fill in... Um, so I don't really want to bring it all the way. I'll fill in. This is just tacking it in place. And I never used to do this. But I'm just trying it and because I would just start soldering. I would just start soldering in a straight line and I don't know. I don't know why what really the purpose and you know me I like to know why I do things too and that way I I can do it even better because I know why I'm doing it guys I just got a call from Matthew my son Matt is in rehab and he's coming home on Friday so I'm so excited 
He's actually going to a halfway house and I'm very happy and excited for him to have that experience as well and but he's going to come here first so we can pick up a few things and then I'll give him a ride to his new home and we'll just see how it goes oops where else do I gotta go here alright now this is a little far away I'm gonna go there different pieces of glass um, panel glass can be different heights and thicknesses too so sometimes you'll notice but guess what this is not a professional person's piece this is my piece and it is what it is you get what you get and you don't get upset I don't know if I put flux there because oh, I did all right does that seem like it's kind of tacked that I hit everything as I ask you guys um, right here and right here but I think that's good and now I'm going to I don't know why I don't have to but I'm going to take this off I just feel like it I think I got all this stuff, the pins and these little um, border maker things at the craft, the stained glass shop that I, see look, it's all, it's tacked together. There's a piece of, I'm going to go in a little bit more. There's a little piece of solder right on the glass, but that'll totally come off. So I could put my came around it, but that's in the basement and I'm going to have to cut that. So let me go, I'm going to just solder, I'm sorry, flux all the seams on this half of the heart so that I can go ahead and do that. And look how sloppy I am. It's just because I rush. Like I'm not a subtle, gentle soul. I'm a I don't know what, but whatever. All right. I think we're good. So the idea is I think you just put the solder on top. And it's going to fall into the cracks. So this, this time, I'm not going to get the nice bead that you're used to seeing on a stained glass piece. This is just to get it stuck together. And then you pretty it up at the end. So I, and because I haven't done this in a long time, I'm going to just, I'm going to just be doing, I'm going to be making mistakes. You know, like, I don't really expect this to be perfect. And I don't even know if my soldering iron's hot enough. It seems to be. So let's go up here for a minute. It takes me, sometimes when I haven't done something for a while, it takes me a minute to get reacclimated to it. Um, but basically, I just want this... Um, solder to fall in the cracks and seal but I do want to put um, man this is not working out as as easily as I I might have to turn it up a tiny bit I don't want to make bumps and lumps and peaks and valleys and stuff. I have to just put flux over what I, what I already did. So those little um, tack marks, I just want to re 
flux them because they're not melting. But like this has a little ding and a dent and a So yeah, I just talked to Matt and I'm just so excited. I want to see him. I think Matt and I are way more alike than James and me, my other son. They're very opposite people. They're completely opposite, my two boys. Actually, I would say James is a lot more like his dad. Matt and I are both a little more extroverted and those two are, um, they keep to themselves a lot more. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm just excited. It's been four months. We visited him. We visited him um, twice in the four months, and we could have gone a lot more. But um, I wanted him to just understand that, like, it wasn't. You're not in prison. You're there to get better. We're support. Oh, look at that. It's a mess. I'm getting it all over the. This isn't going very well. It's not going very. I don't think I flux there enough or something. See how once the flux is there, you can fix it. See, I just totally remelted it and fixed it. But you really need flux. Wow, this is not going as, as easily. I'm going to turn it up a little. So I'm going to put it on like an, a seven and a half. <sighs> so this panel is going to be for my niece Rachel and her husband just to say congratulations on your wedding their wedding was in Florida and I didn't go I could have went but I didn't I have a little bit of anxiety and I don't know why it was it was interesting but I did not go and it is what it is so I just figured I'd make them this as a little thing that says well I'm super happy for you and your new life together why is that so weird But I guess it's just falling in the cracks. And that's stuck to the... <laughs> this is not going well at all. So, I don't know. I guess I'll film... I mean, I'm going to list it. Or what am I saying? Post it because... Oh, look. I think I turned this the iron up and I think it's working better because that way you can troubleshoot along with me and if you don't get discouraged it, it could just be a little tweak of something and you can do it too so yeah I think I think my iron wasn't hot enough and I probably I don't know We'll fix it. That's all. All right, so this side's not fluxed yet. Oops. You can definitely tell that things are going a little smoother since I heated it up. But see that big blob? I don't want that to be a blob. I really just want it to fill in the the gaps. 
So I don't want it to be really fancy or pretty, but I do want it to be just smooth and I don't think I put flux there. Alright, so I think everything's good. And I'm not really worried about that. See, look at this. That's not good. It'll all get fixed. I'm going to flux this whole side. Look at that. <laughs> OMG, you guys. I did not realize I would be a hot mess. But I'm not giving up. And guess what? It'll be gorge when I'm done. That's the best. I, I, I'll guarantee it. I will guarantee you that. I will not let it not be gorge. And my, my tip looks really good. Like it's really nice and shiny and good. So I'm going to continue on. Just tack in. No. Finishing filling in these cracks. I might even turn my iron up a little more. I just don't feel like it's... I want to move that puddle, but it's not moving. I want to pick this up. All right, I'm turning it up to an eight and a half. Maybe I'm just using way too much solder. I just probably need a tiny bit. I think I do. But that's my MO, guys. I'm always more, 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 more. I'm a heavy hand in painting. I just, that's how I operate, so... It takes me a minute, so you don't need a ton of solder. A little bit of solder, that's the key. I want to pick that up. See, I can actually pick up what's on there. Or you can scratch it off when it's all dry. This is the front, so it's looking it's looking pretty rough. Not gonna lie, but I do not need a lot of solder. That's where I went wrong. I really just needed to fall down in the crack and get it all sealed up. So I guess my second attempt would have been a better looking process video. This is looking rough, but I like to show you guys I'm not perfect and I haven't done this in a while. But I've done lots of stained glass panels and I definitely improve the more you do it. But I do so many crafts and I'm a jack of all trades, master of none. Let me get this off here. Getting the hang of it. OMG. It's still fun. Alright, so that's done. This is a little thick right there, and I think I'll be able to smooth that out. But for right now, dun da da da! It's together. So I'm going to flip it over, and we're going to do the back. So I'll do the back completely this, I don't know if you want to say it. Just fast forward through the whole thing. And this side, I'm not going to tack it in. I am just going to, um, and sometimes the solder from the front falls through the cracks, like I'll show you. But that's good because that's what's going to hold this piece together and make it nice and solid. Like there's a pretty big crevice there, but I'm hoping that I'll just put, um, solder down in there. I should probably only flux half at a time because I have a fan on and it could dry. So I mean, look, I'm no expert. I'll do that. But look, can you see? I'm going to show you over here. This little section right here, you see that solder? I'm going to just, it's okay that it came through the um, crevice. 
because I have some pretty big gaps. You know, I mean, I'm going to go right down the middle. Let's see if I can do this. I'll clean off my... Oh, I didn't put this on the whole time. Oh, my gosh. I don't think I had my... Uh, I didn't I didn't have my fan thing on but I'm fine I can breathe all right I'm all ready to go let's see see how it's just going easy now because my soldering irons are a hot enough setting and you know that's why This is really thick, but I just want it to be. Yeah, I got that um, filter. Because there is some, like, especially the Salamoniac block, it's like ammonia. But I don't use that very often. And I guess solder, this has lead in it. So it's not like great to just breathe all these chemicals. So I decided to treat myself to a, a, vent, a, a filter. But see how good I'm doing on the back? It's always the way. But I'll come back and do the front again. So you basically want solder to stick to all of your copper foil. I really like the color of the copper. People might want to, you know, be like, why does it have to be silver? Well, that's why I have a patina. You can buy a patina. So I have a copper patina. It actually looks like rose gold, which would really be pretty on this, actually, because of the red and the pink, you know. And just to be different, but I'm going to use black. So I used a black backed tape. So any of the clear glass, if you could see through it, like the white glass, you'll see black inside because you can see through it. Oh, I didn't. Um. So that's that whole side. There's still a little solder. And I'm going to flux this whole side. Like there's a lot of solder. These are pretty big gaps right there. I'm going to have to go downstairs and find the cane. I know I ordered some, which it's like a frame. It's a hollow piece of, like, I guess copper or aluminum something. And you just tack that onto the side to give it a frame. And then I'll also attach a couple of jump rings as well to for a little hanger. Sorry, I'm just rubbing my tip on the um, salmoniac block. I'm gonna fix that. Because if you if you have a blob, you can pull it away and make it smaller. See, look, I'm just taking some solder off of this and just I can't talk and do this at the same time I have to stay focused so this should stay on the surface because that fell through from the other side it has somewhere to sit I'm 
pretty sure solder sticks to itself too because that's why you want to tin your soldering iron. That This is the way it looks so shiny. It's got solder all over the tip of this iron. So that means I've tinned my tip. Today Matt will find out if I need to go pick him up, but he might be able to get a ride home. They have um, people who facilitate them with rides from the um, rehab. So it's so cool because he'll be able to come to Maya's birthday party. His daughter, my granddaughter, is turning 11. It's crazy. Um, and we have sober parties. We never have any booze at my house because Joe doesn't drink. I like to have a beer from time to time, but not, I don't need a beer at all. I like, I drink water. My, my beverage of choice is actually coffee. I have a very bad coffee habit. I don't know if two cups a day is very bad. Like, I wouldn't steal or hurt anyone for a cup of coffee, you know. So I think I've got it under control. My life is manageable. <laughs> Uh-oh. I just chopped off that piece. This is just a piece of uh, solder. I must have went, chop. Anyway. Uh-oh. I got so I must have went across there. All right, sorry. All right, so this is a mess in my mind. I'm thinking, boy, I gotta clean this up. So I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to go find the cane, which is the frame, and I'll show you how I attach that. But also, um, man, my birds hear me. Um, I'm gonna rinse this off. It's so cool though, I really like it. So this is the front. I mean, just because, I mean, any of the glass that's um, texturized would be facing a certain way, and so I'm considering this the front. So I'm going to go find the cane, and I'm going to come up, and I'm going to have to cut it and put it on here, and I'll show you how I do that. Um, so I'll be back. All right, so this is what I mean when I say cane. It's a channel, right? I guess it's aluminum or something. I don't know. I bought it a while ago. It probably said, but it has... It's three-sided, and I'm going to use it to make a frame. And Kiwi's with me because she was just yelling at me. And I'm going to lay it out here and measure. So I'm just going to hold it, and I'm going to take, I'm going to make a little mark with a Sharpie. And you just want it to be exactly the length of the side of the piece so I'm kinda I put it inside I put the glass inside the channel and I'm gonna make a mark and I'm gonna take this is like a flat note it's flat on one side and I'm gonna use the flat side to the side that I want um, anyhow and if you just cut both of the of the outside edges you just bend it and that's how you cut it off so this is going to go here and then I'll measure another piece to go on each side and then I'm going to tack it in place again with my pegs so basically I can do it like this just hold it up And look at that piece of solder that's pretty big. Um, 
again just using the flat side facing the piece I want to use so that it doesn't get a um, and I just cut it on both sides and then just go like this and it'll break off so I'm going to just do the same thing for all four sides This was one piece of cane, got it right out of the box, and it might fit this whole thing. And I really had, I did not know I was going to do that, but I might need another piece because you need it to, you can't like put a couple pieces. And I mean, maybe I could, but I don't know. So that's for that. Ah, I think we got it. So one piece of that cane fit this whole panel. Which was which is awesome. And uh oh. So just this little piece of waste, that's it. So I just cut, cut both little side oop, I didn't really get through that one. And then you just bend it and it breaks. So now, um, I think I do want to put this on now. And I don't know, there's probably a proper process. Um, this right here is too thick for me to put it on. So see right here and right here, anywhere the those little um, joins are, there can't be a lot of of um, solder like a big bump so this bump is too big because I can't get this over it so I'm gonna have to melt that down hopefully my iron and kiwis with me so I'm gonna turn on my ventilator and I'm gonna wet this and I'm really I really want to do the whole thing actually I can wait we're gonna I'm gonna re redo this and fix it so I'm going to pull any of the um, solder away from the edges so that my cane can fit. But I'm also going to smooth this out because it's a mess. And try to make it as flat and smooth. And actually it's supposed to have a little kind of a, a bead effect, like a pretty solder bead up there. So I'm just doing, I refluxed this left side of the heart. And let's see how it goes. I hope I'm going to get this nice and ready to go. Nice and hot. It seems ready. And let's just see. Don't be afraid, Kiwi. All right, but I want to get this blob. I just want to melt it and get it off there so that, okay, that's good. And just get it smooth. I think that's going to be good. And as you lift up, oops, I just shot solder. Because I'm, as you lift up the soldering um, iron, it will leave a bead. It should, if I'm doing it right. I want to fix right here too, because there's like a big mess. So right here is a big blob too. I'm either going to try and take some of that, so see look, I just pulled that solder off of that blob. So I made a lot less solder be there. Hey okay, look, I'm no expert, but I think that looks better. Well, 
little bubbling. I'm not sure why it does that. So I think that looks better. I mean, I'm really just remelting it and pulling it along in a nice line. That's my that's my thought anyway. So this one really needs to be reshaped. This is really thick right here. Let me try. See, look at all that extra I just took off. Like I kind of moved it off of there. And I'm moving it and I'm shaking it off over there. I've seen stained glass panels that have really nice thin beads of um, solder. And that's kind of what I'd like to see myself doing. But it's not looking like that right now. I don't think I put flux there. So this looks a little bumpy and weird. So let's do this. If I just move slow, and as it dries, it kind of makes a nice little bead. That looks better. Alright, I want to put, I am going to tack on, because I think this can fit now. Although, I just got some flux right here. I mean, I'm just going to flatten it out. Yeah, this seems, huh? Right there was a little thick, but let's see. And then you kind of want to overlap came too. So like the little corners, I want them to lock into place together. So there's definitely a little bit of fudging to do this. I'm going to put a couple of pegs in to hold it. It doesn't seem like it's... Um, on the bottom very well. Seems like it's on there. This could have been a little tighter um, or a little longer, I guess, but I think we're good. All right, so to tack it down, I'm going to use that solder right there, but I'm just going to, like I did in the very beginning, I'm just going to put a little drop of so solder at any joint that I see and the corners. So right here, here, all three of these, the corner, and that might be a little too close. Just a drop like to tack it on. 
Oh God, my dog is at the door. I don't know who's here. I don't think anybody's here, but somebody could be here. All right, so let's see if I can, um, just by using this solder, I'm gonna wipe it off too. Pick this up and just tack it there. I still want a little bit more. Oh geez. Just like that. So I really don't want to upset that because I like that. And then just again, just tap it down like that. So can you see what I'm doing? Try to do it right so you can see me. So I'm just going to take that and tap it down so that it's touching the frame and the bead. I don't think I reflux this little part and I'm just doing it. Kiwi, what are you saying? I don't know if I reflux that, but so I'm just up oh, and I'm not in the shot. I'm gonna come over here. It's too hard to zoom, but I'll try. So I'm gonna take again, just tap it down so that it touches the frame. It's the mailman. Why, why do dogs love the mailman so much? So far so good. For the tacking anyway, and then the corner, I know I'm probably not in the shot, but I'm just I'm going to come back up now because it's too hard for me to do this and focus on if I'm in the shot or not. But this is all tacked. I didn't do this corner. I don't think I see flux. It fell over the side, which that's okay. I'll fix it if it falls over the side. Kitty, why are you yelling in my ear? Alright, I think that's all tacked on. But man, some of these grout lines are still not looking really good. probably have too much flux on the project too. But I'm trying to re just go over it to make it smoother. Definitely smoothing out in some places. Listen, I think it's coming along. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the camera and finish it up. And I'll come back when I'm going to patina everything. So I'm going to fix my lumps and bumps and get it just so. And then I'll be back and show you how I patina everything. All right, I'll be back. Okay, it is done. And listen, it's not the best I've ever done for sure. But I don't have any snaggly bumps on here. Peaks that are going to pull your skin or anything. I mean, it feels pretty good. It's definitely stable and strong. Um, and, you know, I could have done better, but I haven't done it in a while. And so I think I used too much solder. I was just really heavy handed with it and I tried to clean up and go back. But um, for a gift, I think it's pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it'll make them smile. Um, the last thing before I patina, which I almost forgot, is to add the little loops that you can hang it with. So I just use these jump rings 
Um, they're not huge, and I think I got these at a craft supply store. I'm sorry, no. Stained glass store. All right. So I am going to have to hold, and this is so tricky, I'm going to hold each of the jump rings in place and solder. So it's very tricky. I'm going to turn this to the side. I'm feeling like I've done this before on camera too. And I feel like I had a system at one point and I don't remember now what it was. Ah, I think I do remember. Okay, so this is the front. No, yes, this is the front. So on the back, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to reactivate this little bump and this little bump. And I'm going to put them right in that. I'm going to put them in that solder. Now, I'm right-handed. So I'm going to have to solder with my left hand I think because I think I'll feel more secure holding this with my right hand and I just want to set this down okay so I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna flux both of these areas and I'm gonna take the solder off I'm just gonna flatten it out so I kinda got it off of there because I want to put the jump ring flat on there. I think I'm going to hold it with my left hand. I mean my right hand that I'm going to solder with my left. Whatever I'm trying to say. But I think I got to do it like this. And I'm going, so basically I don't know if you'll be able to, ah, I can do it like this. I'll hold it. And I'm, also using the little opening of the jump ring as the bottom. So that's where I'm going to hold this so that it's straight like that. Alright, so I'm going to flux the jump ring and I'm going to flux the little spot and hope for the best. I'm going to put my solder right here so I can just maybe tap it if I need some. So this is kind of tricky. I, I don't think I can really... Alright, I'll try to zoom in a little. That's all you get. I'm sure you're bored with this by now, but it's tricky. So I have a little solder. It's on there, but say I just made it fall. I think it'll hold. So I basically put a ball of solder I think it'll hold. Feels pretty strong and that's the thing. It ha it's also hooked on to this um, came. It feels pretty strong. I think I'd like to put a little more but I, I risk loosening the, the I just want to put another blo ugh, blob of solder, but I, I risk loosening it. So it's, uh, and I don't have my little, sorry. Now I filled it. That's better. I think I definitely surrounded it with solder, so I'm pretty happy with that one. So it's on the back. I'm going to do the same thing with this side. So I'm going to add some flux to that, and I'm going to add flux to my jump ring.
and just set, set it on top kind of like that and that ugh. don't fall so that it definitely sticks out enough for you to put a little um oops It's on there. All right, I'm gonna leave it. Cause that's actually the hardest thing, honestly, that I've had with, um, all right, now I'm gonna turn off my soldering iron. So let me just clean it one last time. And I just rub it on the salamoniac block and then wipe it on the sponge. And then I'm gonna stick it in the holder and turn everything off. Cause I'm done soldering, yay. Um. I'll take a baby wipe and just wipe that off a little. But I feel like that's solid. And she'll be able to hang it on the window. My baby wipes are running out. All right. Um, so now I'm going to patina. So I have couple different colors I hope I so this is black and I think I'm gonna use the black but I also have something called not flux, this is called copper oh pewter black now I'm gonna use the black and I should be using gloves but I don't think I have any and if I do I just don't know where at the moment so I'm going to use a shop cloth and just kind of hold my hand away from it you know like so it won't be um, in the mess of it and just dump it on and watch the solder turn black isn't that cool And I mean, you could just leave it silver. It would look pretty too. But I just wanted it to be black. That's just the, the style that I wanted to do it in. And I used that black um, backed copper foil too. So that it, in case you see through it in the clean, clear glass, it all looks black. I guess I'll hit the came too. See how it's changing the color? And then I used to have polish as well, but I don't think I do now. I'm going to hit the top a little bit. All that solder that I used to. Um, so that's what it looks like with the black solder. Isn't that cool? The cane doesn't really change as much as the solder does. So look at the back now. Silver, black. I like it. I hope she loves it. And I hope it wasn't too fudgy, guys. Look, I'm no expert. And um, I just like to try new things all the time. So it's been a while since I've done this. And I'm happy with it. I think they'll be happy with it. And it also shows that you don't have to be a professional. You can try it, and you're going to come away with a cool piece of art. Um, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Display it with pride in your house, in your window. And people will be jealous. And that's it. So I'm going to find some, I think I have some um, suction cups, so I'll put them in the box along with it, and I think they'll enjoy that when they see that. That's kind of thick, but whatever, it's done now. Now I, I turned everything off. I am not going back in and fudging with it. I'm just leaving it up. Oh, I did forget to put one tack there, but that's okay. It's the back. 
and I think it's tacked pretty good. So what I mean is, right here on this corner, I didn't put a tack of solder. Oh, and I didn't do the front one either. <clears throat> that is so strange why I wouldn't have done that. It kind of needs it, but I think it'll be okay. And then I will give it a cleaning. So the directions say, uh, directions, always practice on a sample, thoroughly clean the project to remove flux residue, remove accumulation, accumulate oxide, properly prepared surface will appear bright and shiny. Apply patina to lead and solder with a clean plastic handle brush. Well, I didn't do that. Continue brushing until desired finish is obtained, then wipe away excess solution. Avoid contact with glass. Well, I didn't do that. If glass stains develop, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I've never had an issue before. So that's it. I hope you like this. Thanks for watching.